Riverlands is a partnership project with uh, the Environment Agency and the National Trust to look at improving the health of our rivers and all of the land surrounding them uh, from their source right down to the sea. The majority of the rivers in the Lake District have been modified. They tend to be pushed to one side of the valley or the other, very straight, walled, with embankments which separate them from the floodplains. And this means that we have water moving very quickly through the landscape from upstream to downstream, increasing flood risk, decreasing habitat quality, but also increasing vulnerability to drought. Riverlands in the Lake District has taken place mainly in the Oldswater catchment and then here in the Durant catchment. So we're in Borrowdale at the moment. We've delivered three projects in the Borrowdale catchment already and then one which is still in the Durant catchment out at Dunthwaite but it's heading towards Cockermouth. We're being constantly told that being out in nature is good for people so having a more healthy, diverse, natural habitat around us is better for everyone. Making things more accessible for people, so Ings Boardwalk for instance made it a lot easier for people to get around the lake, you know, a really popular route um, and allowing people to get close to a really nice wet woodland habitat as well, something a bit different, something that if that boardwalk wasn't there you wouldn't be able to walk through it. Same with um, what we've done up on Armboff, which is a big peatland restoration, which obviously has benefits in terms of carbon capture, which is good for everyone, um, as well as slowing the flow for water, but it's also making it more accessible. So it's really opened up a really nice area of fell for people. So Stonethwaite's a really low impact river renaturalisation. Stonethwaite Beck is a, an upland river. It's, it's quite steep, so it gets fairly intense rainfall and that rainfall gets into the river system very, very quickly. Um, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to recreate the, the diversity that used to exist in terms of different types of channel down the system. We've found the old route of the river before it was straightened. We've taken away some of those embankments and it, we've managed to strategically lower the floodplain so that the water can get back into those old flood routes it's recreated the connection between the, the flowing river, the thing that we see as a river every day, and its floodplain. That started to create these functional wetlands. And wetlands are really, really important um, from an ecological standpoint because we've basically lost so many of those through, through land drainage, etc. But they're also really important in terms of climate. Wetlands are actually better at capturing carbon than woodlands. And they're also a lot easier to create. Yeah, so Dunthwaite, we call the wider area Dunthwaite Estate. It's a really well-drained slope. So every time it rained, water would just run straight off, um, which made it quite problematic for grazing stock up there in the summer. So we've built a series of ponds up there. So we wanted ponds that were, one, going to store water in high rainfall events, but also keep an element of water up there all year round. I think in the summer they'll dry out a lot and we'll start to see some interesting vegetation starting to grow around the edges, some sort of wetland species. We're just stood in Allswater in just upstream of Hartsop on Hartsop Hall Farm. This is quite a big project. Here we've got a very straight river with some very straight streams coming into it. And um, what we're doing is we're moving the embankments back and creating huge wide areas for the river to move within and that dissipates the energy in the river and increases the biodiversity but also by doing that we're going to be decreasing the more regular flooding into the field um, which will improve life for our farm tenant here. So Gold Rills, like the flagship project you know a big full-scale river restoration um, so a bit different from everything else that we've done, which is an interesting thing, like gold drills probably like what you can do if you go in 100% and change everything. But it's, it's, Stonethwaite, for instance, is more sort of 20, 30% interventions, you know. Um, but it's interesting to see the difference between the two, see how they develop. Gold drills delivered on what we sort of said it was going to do. So it's knocked the flood peak off by two to three hours. You know, it stopped the road from being undermined, which is a big issue in Patterdale because that road's the only access in and out of the area. 
Um, and then we're sort of seeing massive benefits in terms of the amount of uh, sediment being deposited there, which is helping with flooding. Uh, and it's still being used by the same cattle herd that was there before. So it's still grazable farmland. My name's Danny Teasdale. Um, I work for Ulls Water Catchment Management, CIC. Our involvement in the Riverlands project is predominantly from the tree planting side of things. Uh, one of the, one of the sort of things that we want to show that we can do is plant lots of trees on farms, which doesn't impact the farming or it actually benefits it. So the, the main bulk of it has been hedgerow creation uh, or wood pasture, the, sort of the good for wildlife and the good for water management and the good shelter for livestock. So we're just connecting that natural network back up again. It's nice having big machines coming in, big fancy diggers and everything. They can do a lot of work, but there's also a lot of room for the community to get involved and for people to do part of this. So local social groups or volunteer groups, you know, they're nice things for people to do and really get involved and feel like they're contributing to improving the catchment that they work and live in. So we're working with our partners at West Cumbria Rivers Trust to sort of get school groups involved through forest schools. You know, it's a good opportunity to get them excited and interested in working outdoors in conservation, educating them, you know, how river catchments work, what a healthy river system should look like. But I think it's really important for kids to kind of know that this is something that they can do as a career as well. Projects like this are so important for local communities in terms of having a resilient landscape around them. So from a, from a flood and a drought and a climate change perspective, these projects are vital. But also we're facing a biodiversity crisis across the country and across the globe. The breadth of the, of the project is huge. These projects create the habitats that are so important